Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another shot cut tutorial. <laughs> I know you guys just love these. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, but on this one here, we're going to cover time lapse video. Uh, say you went out with your camera, you took a bunch of pictures, uh, you want to throw them all together, or you have a camera that does time lapse, takes time lapse photos, and now you need to throw them into a video. How do you do that? Or we are going to use Shotcut uh, to do this for us. So I'm going to do this very, very slow in simple terms and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will be able to do it uh, as well so when we come back we're gonna jump right into this and as always remember to like share and subscribe you hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released that way you don't miss any of them and today we are going to show you how to create uh, time-lapse videos out of your uh, pictures that you took either with a trail cam or uh, that you may have taken with your camera in sequence, uh, stuff like that. Um, and this is very easy to do, uh, but it's one of those things that if you don't know how to do it, you got to search it. And if somebody tries to be over technical with it, it just gets crazy. So. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to have pictures that are numbered in sequence. As you guys can see here, the numbers, the file name is called P105001, and then the next one's the same except two, and the next one's the same except three, and so on and so on and so on, right on down the line. What if yours aren't? Uh, say you did everything by hand. Uh, and you want to you know add everything together uh, well in order to get the number like this all right I already did these but we're gonna do them again um, in order to rename them all the same this is how I do it there are several ways to do it this is just how I do it I am going to click and you have to select all the ones that you want uh, then I'm going to hold uh, the function key and hit F2 at the same time and I'm using an HP laptop uh, your your device may be a little different uh, some like if you're working on your computer or your PC all you have to do is hit F2 uh, now on this laptop this HP laptop you actually have to hit function F2 at the same time uh, which is rename so we're going to rename this um, test files test underscore files and I'm going to hit enter that is going to change every single one of them to test files with a number after each one of them in sequence that's all you need to do so if I bring shotcut back up we go to our playlist um, now we want to go to our, our file explorer and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to desktop and those ones I renamed I'm going to show you how it works um, I think it was under Canon T6i and under Canon yeah here they are so in order to do this all you have to do is click and drag that very first picture in there okay that's all you gotta do uh, once that picture's in there you want to go to properties and then click on image sequence that is going to pull every picture in that has that number in a sequence <laughs> So if I bring this down into the timeline now, this is going to be a really funky looking time lapse because none of the pictures are the same. So if I play it now, this is what you see. It's more like a slideshow. And here you guys could create a slideshow doing the same thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to go ahead and X out of this. I don't want to save it. And we're going to open up Shotcut again. And this time, we are going to do, we are going to go to our playlist. I'm going to go, I'm going to close this one out. We're going to go to our uh, file browser. And I'm going to go to some pictures I took with my Panasonic. Um, that are, is an actual time lapse. Um, and they're right here. It's, I, I, I already did one. I called it Blue Skies, but this is it and again like I said guys make sure that they're numbered in sequence if they aren't 
do what I showed you to change that. Uh, you're going to want to click on or click the on the very first one, drag it over. In order to pull them all in, go to properties and then hit that image sequence, and it's going to read all the pictures in there that are in a sequence order, and it's going to pull them all in. Okay. Now you want to grab that picture, drag it down into your timeline, let go of it, let go of the mouse, and now you have a time lapse. Now we can do a lot of stuff with this, but what I normally do is I go ahead and export this now. Uh, go to advanced, uh, 1920 by 1080, 16. This is the aspect ratio I want. Uh, yeah, 25 frames per second. I like to go with best here. We are going to export that to our desktop. I'm going to call this um, test one and save. And when that's done, you're going to see a check mark here, a green check mark, and it'll say 100%. So this isn't going to take long at all to do, uh, but we will be back uh, when it's finished. Okay, it is done. Um, as you guys can see, there's a check mark there. It took 1 minute 18 seconds to do. Uh, we are going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to find that folder on my desktop. We're going to go ahead and play that and see what it looks like. That actually looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if I want to change that at all. That's actually pretty dang good. But we can go a little further with that if you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and close that out. Let's bring back uh, Shotcut. And if we want, um, we can actually take this video and stretch it out or, you know, whatever we want to do with it. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to head and close out. Sorry about that noise, guys. We're going to close out Shotcut and we are going to open it back up again. And when it opens, we are going to go to our playlist and we are going to find that folder on our desktop that we did or that file that we just made test one we are going to click on it and drag it over and drop it into our playlist that's it playing plays really nice once it's rendered and again i like it uh, but we can improve on it let's click on it and drag it down into our timeline now we can do a couple things with this uh, we're going to click on it go to properties so you make sure it's highlighted in red by clicking on it with your left mouse click. Uh, we're going to go to Properties. And right here is the speed of the video. So we can change the look of this by either slowing it down or speeding it up. So let's go 0 and we'll put 05 in here. Or we could just go... Instead of 05, we just put... Five oh, so yeah, it should be half speed. So click anywhere outside. This is going to get bigger, and we just doubled the time, so we slowed it down by by half. So we're going to play it now. I actually think that's a little better, but now we're looking at. Uh, Instead of like six to seven seconds, now we're looking at a total of 18.24 seconds, which isn't that bad. I mean, that's enough to put a little music to, you know, maybe a little bit of the beginning of the video and, you know, closer, you know, like and subscribe on the end. Uh, but guys, that's it. That is how you create a time lapse video. All right, uh, as you guys can see, it's not that difficult to do. Guys, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys are hitting that notification button next to the uh, subscribe. That way you get my videos as soon as I release them. Uh, and again, I want to thank all my subs. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys on the next one.